for this? Are you having a laugh? Are you actually having a laugh? And it's noisy as well, like it's so noisy. Can you hear that? Who wants to be walking around with this noise? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bastiana Joyce. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. As for the title of the video, you can obviously tell that I'm going to be trying on some dresses for my Christmas party do. I haven't been to a Christmas party in so long because my previous job before this was a work from home and we never really did like parties or anything. And then the job before that was basically me working by myself. So I haven't been to a Christmas party in forever. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. So it's Christmas party season. It's the first season Christmas coming up and the girls are excited to go to the Christmas parties put their little cute dresses on and get to party so this is actually my first Christmas party in a very long time the job before this I was working from home and then the job before that I was working by myself so I actually haven't been to a party a Christmas work party in a very long time the girls at work are like super excited about it like they keep talking about it and it's like is giving excitement so if they are this gas about the christmas party then i'm gonna have to put some effort in so i did some shopping i went on zara went on plt i even went on asos and like all these other places but i just couldn't find anything so i picked out five dresses for me to try on today to see whether they'd be suitable for this christmas party so the vibes that i'm going for is like classy sexy simple but effective like i don't want to do too much because i'm around obviously see white people and they don't need to see too much of me do you know what I mean skin wise and everything wise like I don't need to give them a lot like I just need to be effective with it I need to be simple cute I need to pick my dress carefully I need to look the part but also not too much if you're interested stick around to see these dresses and help me in the comment section which one do you think i should wear which one is your favorite which one did you like the most i already know which one i'm gonna wear i didn't even have to do this whole the first dress that i tried on was the dress for me but anyways if you want to stick around stick around before we get into the video make sure make sure to comment like subscribe all of that good stuff if you end up enjoying today's video your sis is trying to get to 1k so support me help us this out but yeah let's get into the video the first dress that i tried on is a satin halter slip dress from zara i haven't shopped in zara for so long guys like i bought two dresses from zara and three dresses from plt this hasn't even itched like my zara addiction i definitely need to do like a huge zara haul zara shop because i need that i actually haven't shopped in zara for so long i don't think i've shopped like that like a lot i haven't done like huge hauls in a in a minute like i actually haven't but yeah this is a satin halter slip dress it is tied halter neck midi dress with an open back detail and i think this dress is gorgeous guys you're gonna see how it looks on i think it's very flattering to my body type one thing about zara they do not miss with their satin dresses so this dress was 45.99 i didn't even know this dress was that much that's crazy did i pay that much why did I pay that much? It's actually really expensive. I'm not disappointed. Like, I think I would pay that price again, given that it would look the way that it looks on my body. Like, it actually looks gorgeous. I love the vibrancy. And it's definitely giving Christmas party because it's red. Santa Claus, duh. I got this in a size medium that was actually reflecting as to whether a small would look better fitted on me because i do like like a snug fit that's gonna outline my shape properly um but this one i think is this one i think is like the perfect fit it's not too tight and it's not too loose i think it fits me perfectly and i'm like a size 8 10 so yeah when i tried this dress on i knew that this was the dress for me i knew that i didn't even have to do the rest of the haul because this is the dress that i am going to wear sorry to disappoint y'all sorry to spoil it for you guys but this is definitely the dress that I'm going to wear. I love the length, I love the colour, and I love the halter neck detail. It adds a little bit of class and uniqueness to the dress. Obviously, it's a special occasion, so you need something a bit, something to jazz it up a little bit. So I think the halter neck detailing with the open back detail definitely add that element of you know uniqueness and class and elegance. And I just think it's a gorgeous dress. I plan to style this with 
black accessories so an open toed black heel and a black clutch bag and possibly i don't know if i'm gonna go with silver or gold jewelry yet but i think either all could work perfectly with this dress so 10 out of 10 i love this dress 10 out of 10. the next dress that i got surprise surprise is another satin dress so this is a satin camisole dress so this color is called cover and it's like a bronzy gold type of color which is definitely giving christmas vibes as well so i wanted something that would scream christmas i don't just want to wear like any other regular dress i want to make sure that it's like giving a Christmas vibes and that's why I actually didn't buy not one black dress because that's just giving Grinch vibes like no colour you know we're in the festive season we're supposed to be festive and bright and you know so I defo went for the colour when picking these dresses i got this in a size medium also and this is a midi dress with a draped neckline and thin straps open back and invisible zip fastening this dress has potential it's not my favorite i love the color on it but the halter neck situation is very loose i'm not quite sure why uh, maybe it's because i'm flat chested so i don't have a lot of volume in the chest area so that's why it was a bit more drapey um but yeah at the top the whole neck the chest area didn't fit me very well so i had to tie it you'll be able to see in the try on video that i pop up on here i had to tie the halter neck which isn't supposed to be tied and there's no way that you can actually like there's no way to actually tighten this like it's it's not adjustable which i think is silly um i think it'd be a great dress if i could have adjusted the halter neck and the length was nice i like the length it wasn't too long but it wasn't too short so the red dress definitely set the tone for the rest of the haul and like none of these dresses match up to it so i was looking at these dresses with a side eye because you're not giving what the red dress gave to me so i would probably give this a six seven out of ten um so yeah and the dress retailed for £25.99. pence. So the next dress that I tried is this green sequin shoulder pad sleeveless bodycon dress and I got this in a size 10. Guys, I actually had high hopes for this dress. I thought that I could potentially make it work. I don't usually go for sequins. I don't usually go for anything like bright and like glittery like this because it's just not my vibe. So I thought to go a little bit out of my comfort zone and just try something different because like I keep saying, it is the festival season it's the season to get jolly and you know just be festive so i wanted to try something different it's just not for me it's literally just not for me i think it does have potential i feel like the right person could style this and make this dress work but for me personally it's a no it's just not my style i tried to get out of my comfort zone but it did not work it is not for me um the colour's nice though, it's a nice colour, it's giving Christmas tree, you know, it's giving Christmas tree, especially with the sequins. Um, I don't like how like the lining is like exposed, because obviously it's sequin and then it just, I don't like that. And you'll be able to see as well, like when the dress is on, at the bottom it will kind of almost like, it won't sit, it will, I don't know how to explain it, but... It just exposes the lining of the dress which i don't think is flattering like if you're gonna have a sequin front then you know make sure that it's covered in it rather than you know like i just i don't like how the lining is exposed when the dress is on um but the dress is it is what it is it's just it's just not for me actually i don't know what i was thinking again i just wanted to get out of my comfort zone I just wanted to get on my comfort zone and I tried something different and it's a no from me. Yeah, I got this in a size 10 and I bought it for £33. So this is definitely going back. I have no business wearing this. This is not for me. Um, it's not my style. Um, I give this a 6 out of 10. Um, yeah. Alright, so the next dress that I tried. Oh my gosh, this dress is absolutely horrific <laughs> like it's definitely like not me again i don't know what i was thinking like this is way too far out of my comfort zone but i bought this sequin dress another sequin dress i was really trying to embrace this christmas 
vibrant spirit but it just wasn't given but if you see these dresses on the model they look decent but anyways this is the red large sequin bandu maxi dress and i got this in a size 10 and this was 40 quid this is not worth 40 pounds this is not worth 40 pounds look at the material can you see that it's like a mesh so it's definitely see-through the sequins were falling off and guys i didn't like how like this can like you know like stand like the sequins can stand and it's hard to, to make them flat i don't like that and it just it didn't fit me well either the size 10 was way too big for me um so it wasn't hugging on my figure it was just looking like a plastic something on my body again it's like see-through yeah i didn't like this dress at all and for 40 quid i even had discount applied to it the original price is 48 pounds 50 quid for this are you having a laugh are you actually having a laugh and it's noisy as well like it's so noisy can you hear that who wants to be walking around with this noise yeah this dress is no it is not cute look at it look at it it's uh, it's just not this is not cute this is not what i expected for 40 quid like i just expected a thicker material i just wanted a better construction of the sequins and i don't like how this zip is exposed why is that exposed like that couldn't they do like an invisible zip or something PLT, they remind me time and time again why I should be shopping on there because some of their items are very hit and miss. They're very inconsistent with their quality and it's just not worth the money. It's not worth the investment. Some items can be cheap, but I've noticed with PLT, they've actually raised up a lot of their prices and there's even a sequin I can see on the floor now. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't want to walk around and sequins are falling off of me and then people can identify me by the little sequins on the floor. This dress is a strong zero out of ten for me. You like, I like nothing about this dress. Like, nothing about this at all I like. Last but not least, I bought this pink abstract print plissé. Plissé? Plissé? strappy maxi dress the colorway color palette of this dress is definitely what gravitated me towards it i just thought it was a cute dress that i could probably get like a couple of wears out of it because i feel like it would i don't know i don't think it's given completely christmas but it's obviously colorful so i could wear it for a christmas party but i could also wear this to like other events like evening meals or um you know on holiday like i think i would be able to get like you know a few wears out of this dress and not just like a one night type of thing um so i bought it but i don't particularly like the the pleatedness to it i think it's not as flattering as i was hoping um i do like the length of the dress i like the color but like in person it's not giving christmas like that and like i said i want to give christmas i want it to be effective um and i think i got this in a size 10 i got this in a size 10 and it was 23 pounds um and that was with a discount normal price was 30 quid and i don't think this is worth 30 pounds PLT they're really getting expensive huh yeah there's not much to say about the dress it's decent but I won't be keeping it um this is definitely going back um yeah it didn't make the cut so yeah guys that is the end of the video um i've tried on all five dresses and obviously you already know which one i'm going with so i really love the zara satin dress zara always comes through with her satin dresses like it never disappoints so i'm definitely wearing that to a christmas party but let me know your thoughts let me know which one was your favorite let me know when your christmas party is and what you wearing like let me know let's chit chat in the comment section um but yeah that's it from me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have stuck with me until the end i love you and appreciate you and i hope to see you guys here in the next one ciao